Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to start with a very simple question. What's the name of your department that you are the secretary of? It's the department what is of, the, na the name of the, the department? The department, yes. The Department of Homeland Security. The department of Homeland Security. And your department was stood up when 19 foreign nationals misrepresented who they were and used our infrastructure and our resources to bring a, a catastrophic attack, of course, on September 11th. Now, your department is tasked with protecting the homeland, uh, and you have done more to turn it into and to prioritize processing than you have protection. When you talk to the Border Patrol agents in Texas who are doing a yeoman's work, doing everything they can with what they are being faced with, they are very frustrated that they have been taken off their job of protecting our borders and have instead been put in the role of processing. Could you speak to any authorities that Congress has removed from you or the president since taking office? Um, uh, Congressman, um, ha has you mentioned Congress you removed any authorities from you or the president since you've taken office. Congressman, the uh, the point that's a yes that you, or no question. Congressman, the point that you make with respect to border patrol agents is exactly why you're, you're we, filibustering. I asked you a yes or no question. Congressman, the Has point that you make Congress exactly removed any authorities from you or the president since you've taken office? Congressman, the point that you make with respect to border the patrol answer is agents. no. I'd also make uh, the point that you have approximately 20 percent larger budget than Trump had. Uh, the president has made the point that he can't secure the border. He can't get down to he because he is waiting on Congress to move. And I just point that out to belay that and to point out the truth of the fact that he has every single authority as President Trump. He has more resources at his disposal than President Trump, yet he has done everything he can to undermine the security of our border. Have you read the book Unrestricted Warfare or the pamphlet? Congressman, no. what is your... Uh, it, it, was, it was a report that was written by two colonels uh, in the Chinese Army. Uh, Congressman, what is your substantive question about the work the, the, of the Department of Homeland Security? The, the, the question is, so is that a yes or no? No. Uh, in in the, the pamphlet or the brochure, it's a couple hundred pages long, it talks about the fact that a country would be, to, to take out the United States, you would not try to use kinetic warfare. You would use things like abusing our legal system, attacks on our infrastructure, terrorism, smuggling warfare, drug warfare, economic aid warfare, in other words, getting us to overuse and to what the way we, we beat the Soviet Union was getting them to overspend. It was economic collapse because we, we got in an arms race with them and they couldn't keep up economically. Right now we are wasting and spending money uh, in ways because, uh, uh, and it's, it's leading to our demise. Right now the number one threat against our country is our, our fiscal uh, house. Um, do you have any concerns that China may be engaged with unrestricted warfare in our country? Congressman, um, uh, addressing uh, the challenges that the People's Republic of China poses is one of our highest priorities, and we have a number of lines of effort to address that, whether that is enforcement of the Uyghur Forced Labor Protection Act. How, how many Chinese fight, nationals have crossed our border in the and, last couple of years? And the, and the fight against uh, forced labor, whether that is battling. That's not uh, homeland security. I, I appreciate that, but that's not homeland security. Um, we are tasked with enforcement of the UFLPA, Congressman. Secondly, I'm asking fighting, you about the border. How many Chinese nationals have crossed our border? I, I'd be pleased to provide that data. It's uh, tens of you. thousands. It's um, the second. Secondly, tens of thousands. Secondly, the the threat of cyber attacks. Right now, from, right now, crossing our border are tens of thousands of Chinese nationals who are not presently in our country. They are primarily single-aged adult male, military-aged, uh, and they've crossed our border. And uh, you are not doing anything to counteract that. Um, you mentioned expanding lawful pathways. Who makes laws? Congressman, um, if you must ask me questions, the answers to which you know, uh, allow me to answer it. Congress. Thank you. You haven't answered the other questions, so I'll just point that out. Uh, the issue that we have when it comes to analyzing your budget, and this has been the difficult part, is, is we look at our budgets and we want to spend money to secure our border. And so we, as Congress, write the check for security, and then you get it and you turn it into processing. 
uh, and you turn it into basically human trafficking and aiding and abetting cartels and all the nefarious action that's happened. So we've had 100,000 people killed from fentanyl, the precursors coming from China. That's about 300 people. That would be like a plane with 300 people a day dying in our country. And that, well, now we have cells within our country who at any moment could strike our infrastructure or the other ways of unrestricted warfare that I, I've mentioned. I would urge you to get a focus on homeland security, be focused on protection, let's stop the funding for the, the, the unnecessary processing, let's secure our border and put back in place the, uh, the policies that had led to a secure or almost secure border. Thank you, I yield back. Thank you, sir. We now recognize the ranking member of the entire committee